let's get to work. Let's get to work. Hey everybody, hope you're doing all right at home. We are going to look at some music rhythms today. We're going to use Chrome Music Lab, which is a neat collection of experiments, and they do lots of cool stuff with sound. We're going to use their piano roll to look at these rhythms and compare the short and the long rhythms and how they change up. So first let's look at the board and take a look at long notes versus short notes and the two different ways that we can write them. Rhythm is the pattern of the short and the long parts of the sound. These are short sounds, and these are long sounds. This bottom section is a combination of short and long sounds. So we can have these different rhythms. One and two and. One dash two, three dash four. One, two dash three, four and. One dash two, whatever your rhythm is. We have these different rhythms so we can sing them in different ways. La, 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 or la, la, or la, 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 la. You got these different combinations. A short sound can be written as an eighth note or two eighth notes together. Kind of a medium sound because you're a quarter note. And then a long sound can be a half note. You could even have a really long sound and this could be your whole note. Here's a rhythm on the board. We're going to repeat this rhythm a couple times. I want you to clap this with me. One, two, here we go. Try again. Ready, go. One, two, again, and go. Try it by yourself. Ready, go. One more time. Ready, go. Rhythms are written onto music bars. Sometimes for really simple rhythms, we can just use one line. Sometimes we want to use many lines to show the different kinds of sounds. This is where pitch comes into play, but that's for a different video. Here's the same rhythm we just played, written with our notes on our music staff. We have two quarter notes and four eighth notes. Here's what that rhythm might look like using our blocks. We have a long block, a long block, and then four short blocks. Let's try clapping this rhythm one more time. One, two, here we go. One, two, ready, go. Let's put some numbers to these rhythms. We have one, two, and then these guys get split into little parts. Three, and, four, and. Let's try counting this rhythm. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, and, four, and. Try again, ready, go. One, two, three, and, four, and. Nice job. Let's go back to the computer. Let's take a look at Music Lab. Okay, so we've opened up our Chrome browser, and we're going to go to Music Lab. If you just Google search this, it'll be the first thing that pops up. The Chrome Music Lab. We've seen this in class before. Most of us have. So we're going to take a look at the piano roll. And here we can see all of these rhythm blocks. Let's take a listen to this one. Press play when you're ready. Let's try this again from the beginning. We have our piano roll. You can see our music blocks. These are short blocks, so they have short sounds. And these are long blocks, so these have long sounds. Some of these are going to play at the same time. 
Let's take a listen to how it sounds. Very nice. Let's change the example. Now this piece has much shorter sounds, so the sound of the music will go by a lot faster. We have some long sounds. And as you, as you scroll through, you can see where some of these long sounds happen at the same time. And you see these really short sounds that happen like little waterfalls. Let's go back to the beginning. That just sounds silly. And let's take a listen to it. See if you can hear where the waterfall sounds are and where those long sounds are. I'm going to freeze it right here because this is a great part where you can really see those short rhythms. And you have those a little bit longer rhythms. Let's try listening to this one a little bit more. Awesome. Let's take a look at the last one. This one we know. We've heard this rhythm before. We know this piece. It should be very familiar to you. Let's take a listen. Nice. So if we go back to the beginning, we can see short, 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 long, and this rhythm we can find in lots of parts of this song. We see it in the beginning by itself, and then we see it in lots of little places. We see this one here. We see this one here, we see this one here, and they stack on top of each other. It happens again later, -da -da -da, and we see it all at the same time. And we see it falling down, short, 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 long, short, 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 long, short, 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 long. It's pretty cool what you can do with these rhythms, and they're putting them in different places. They're putting them high, they're putting them low, they're putting them, some of them go backwards later in the piece. It's pretty cool. So I want you to grab a piece of paper and a pencil or a pen or a marker or whatever you want, 
and I want you to make some rhythms using our blocks or our music notes, whichever way works for you, whichever way you think is easier. Make patterns. I want you to try to make different patterns, different groups of notes or music blocks. So maybe you start with a long and then you have a short sound. Then you have another long and a short sound. And I want you to mix it up in different ways, but try to keep your pattern. All right, that's it for rhythm. Nice job, guys, and I will see you in the next video.